Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to be talking about 10 amazing facts about space. Space is a vast and mysterious place, full of wonders that we're only beginning to understand. But even with the limited knowledge we have, there are still some incredible things that we can tell you about space. So, without further ado, let's get started. Space is big. The fact that space is big is difficult to comprehend. It's so big that it's hard to wrap our heads around it. But it's important to remember that the universe is everything. It's all of space. And it's also important to remember that the universe is constantly expanding. This means that the distances between galaxies are getting bigger all the time. Here is an analogy that may help you to comprehend the size of space. Imagine a balloon with dots drawn on it. The balloon represents the universe, and the dots represent galaxies. As you blow up the balloon, the dots get further apart. This is similar to how galaxies are moving away from each other as the universe expands. The size of space is truly awe-inspiring. It's a reminder of how small and insignificant we are in the grand scheme of things. But it's also a reminder of the beauty and wonder of the universe. Space is mostly empty. With matter making up only about 5% of the universe, the rest is made up of dark energy and dark matter. The space between galaxies is mostly empty. In fact, the average density of the universe is about 5 protons per cubic meter. That's very empty, especially when you consider that a single proton is about 10 hours of 15 meters wide. Even the space between stars is mostly empty. For example, the distance between the Sun and the nearest star, Proxima Centauri, is about 4 light years. That means that there is a lot of empty space between the two stars. The emptiness of space is one of the reasons why it is so difficult to travel through space. There is very little matter to push against, so spacecraft have to rely on their own fuel to propel them forward. The emptiness of space is also one of the reasons why it is so difficult to find life beyond Earth. If there is life out there, it is likely to be very spread out. Space is very cold. The average temperature of space is 270.45 degrees Celsius, 400.4999 degrees Fahrenheit. That's cold enough to freeze solid nitrogen and oxygen. The coldest place in the known universe is the Boomerang Nebula, which has a temperature of 272.15 degrees Celsius, 497.87 degrees Fahrenheit. There are a few reasons why space is so cold. First, there is very little matter in space. This means that there are very few particles to collide with and transfer heat. Second, the only way for heat to travel through space is through radiation. Radiation is a form of energy that travels through space in waves. Radiation is very slow to travel, and it can easily be blocked by matter. Space is very dark. Space is very dark because there is no sunlight in space. The only light you would see is from the stars, planets, and galaxies. Even the brightest stars are very dim when you're looking at them from space. That's because the light has to travel through millions or billions of empty space to reach your eyes. There are a few reasons why space is so dark. First, there is very little matter in space. This means that there are very few particles to scatter light. Second, the only way for light to travel through space is in a straight line. This means that light from distant stars and galaxies can't reach our eyes because it's blocked by other matter, such as dust and gas. The darkness of space is a truly humbling concept. It reminds us of how small and insignificant we are in the grand scheme of things. But it also reminds us of the beauty and wonder of the universe. Space is full of radiation. Radiation is energy that travels through space in waves. There are many different types of radiation, including visible light, ultraviolet light, X-rays, and gamma rays. Some types of radiation are dangerous to humans, such as ultraviolet light and gamma rays. That's why astronauts wear special suits and helmets to protect themselves when they go into space. The amount of radiation in space varies depending on the source of the radiation and the distance from the source. For example, the radiation levels near the Earth are much lower than the radiation levels near the Sun. Radiation can damage human cells and cause cancer. That's why it's important for astronauts to limit their exposure to radiation. Astronauts limit their exposure to radiation by spending time in shielded areas of spacecraft and by wearing special suits and helmets. The radiation in space is a real threat to humans and spacecraft, but with careful planning and design, it is possible to mitigate the risks of radiation exposure. Space is home to billions of galaxies. 
A galaxy is a huge collection of stars, gas, and dust. The Milky Way galaxy is home to about 100 billion stars, and there are billions of other galaxies in the universe. Some galaxies are very small, with only a few million stars. Others are very large, with trillions of stars. The largest galaxy known is IC1101, which has an estimated 100 trillion stars. Galaxies come in a variety of shapes, including spirals, ellipticals, and irregular galaxies. Spiral galaxies, like the Milky Way, have a spiral-shaped disk of stars and a central bulge of stars. Elliptical galaxies are oval-shaped and do not have a spiral disk. Irregular galaxies are any galaxies that do not fit into the spiral or elliptical categories. Space is constantly expanding. This means that the distance between galaxies is getting bigger all the time. The expansion of the universe is thought to have begun with the Big Bang, which is the event that created the universe about 13.8 billion years ago. In the early universe, everything was very hot and dense. The universe was also very small. But over time, the universe has cooled and expanded. Today, the universe is much larger than it was in the early universe. And the universe is still expanding. The expansion of the universe is accelerating. This means that the distance between galaxies is increasing at a faster and faster rate. The expansion of the universe is one of the most important discoveries in modern cosmology. It has helped us to understand the history and evolution of the universe. Space is full of black holes. A black hole is a region of space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. Black holes are formed when massive stars collapse at the end of their lives. The more massive the star, the larger the black hole. Black holes are invisible, but we can detect them by their effects on the matter around them. For example, if a black hole is close to a star, it will pull the star's gas towards it. This gas will form a swirling disk around the black hole, called an accretion disk. The gas in the accretion disk will heat up and glow, making the black hole visible to telescopes. Black holes can also merge with other black holes. When two black holes merge, they create a new black hole that is more massive than either of the original black holes. Space is full of planets. There are billions of planets in the universe, and some of them may even be habitable. Scientists have discovered thousands of planets outside of our solar system, called exoplanets. These planets come in a variety of sizes and shapes, and some of them are even more massive than Jupiter. Some exoplanets are located in the habitable zone of their star, which means that they could potentially support life. However, scientists have not yet found any definitive evidence of life beyond Earth. The presence of exoplanets suggests that planets are very common in the universe. In fact, scientists believe that there are more planets in the universe than stars. The discovery of exoplanets has revolutionized our understanding of the universe. It has shown us that our solar system is not unique and that there are billions of other planets out there waiting to be discovered. Space is home to life. We know for sure that there is life on Earth, but is there life anywhere else in the universe? Scientists are still searching for an answer to that question, but given the vastness of the universe, it seems statistically likely that there is life somewhere else out there. There are a number of places in the universe where life could potentially exist. One place is on exoplanets, which are planets outside of our solar system. Scientists have discovered thousands of exoplanets in recent years, and some of them are located in the habitable zone of their star, which means that they could potentially support liquid water and other conditions that are necessary for life as we know it. Another place where life could exist is in the subsurface oceans of icy moons, such as Europa and Enceladus. These moons have liquid water oceans beneath their icy crusts, and scientists believe that these oceans could provide a habitable environment for life. So, there you have it, 10 amazing facts about space. Space is a truly incredible place, and we're only just beginning to learn about all the wonders that it has to offer. If you're interested in learning more about space, I encourage you to do some research on your own. There are many great resources available online and in libraries, and who knows, Maybe one day you'll have the opportunity to explore space for yourself. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos about space and other science topics.